Hello, this is Seth for Northland Dodge and Prince George, and today we're taking a look at a 2013 Dodge Avenger SXT. Under the hood, we have a 2.4 i4 dual VVT engine and a 4-speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look around. This guy is in the crystal blue coat, and it looks very nice. As well, right off the front, we do have the Dodge logo right there, and we do have quad halogen reflector-style headlamps, as well as we also have the fog lights right down there. Now it is riding on a pair of 18 inch wheels right there and they look nice. They got a lot of tread left on them and some pretty nice rims on them as well as it does come with heated exterior mirrors. Coming around the back here you do have the Avenger logo right there and the Dodge right across and the SXT on the other side. Now it is controlled by the keys to open up the back or there is another button on the inside of the vehicle that you can press. But we did the one on the keys and you lift it up and there's a lot of room back here as well. Tons and tons, as well as you can push the seats forward if you did need a little bit extra uh, room in there. And you can also open it up and you do have your spare tire right underneath there. Now let's take a look at the interior. So we got our keys here. You got what I was talking about, the two presses to unlock the back, two presses to unlock all the doors, one press to lock it, and you do got your panic button down there. But let's unlock it and let's jump on in. So on the door here, we do have power mirrors, power locks, and you have your uh, window lock there as well as power windows. Got a bit of storage down there, a bit more up here. You do have power seats here, so back and forward, as well as you can lift it up and down, and this one does tilt the seat back and forward as well. This is your button for the uh, trunk on the inside right here. And then you also have right here, you have your uh, turning signal as well as your control of your light. So your high beam, low beam, and all that stuff right there. Okay, now that we're on the inside, let's start her up. So key in the ignition. And there we go. So in the center here, we do have our speedometer and our odometer, as well as we have our gas gauge and our oil gauge. We have uh, how many kilometers we got went and how what our uh, gear we're in right there. As well as on the other side, it does have what direction we're facing, the temperature outside, and the station that we are on. Now in the center here, we do have a couple different guys here. We have our call out and our voice recognition right there that we can adjust through there. You got your menu, you have all that stuff to change. Um, the little guy in the middle uh, right over here. So that one does change all those different options. You got a horn in the center of course and you got your cruise control options on the other side. On the back of the steering wheel you actually have uh, this guy right here which turns the volume up and down. You got an identical one on the other side uh, and it does just uh, make it so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel. This guy right here is a control of your windshield wipers, so you can play with that and change all those things. And then in the center here, you do have your radio. So you have your seek options for your CD player up here. You got your voice recognition and your call out button if you do have a phone hooked up through Bluetooth. Then you also have your info. You got your, for, or your rewind and your forward. And then you have your power on and off here, as well as the volume up and down. You got AM, FM, satellite radio, and your uh, disc, or your if you have something hooked up through your aux cord. It does come with a year satellite radio when you do purchase the vehicle. You got your list, your music type, and your setup. You can push and change your audio options as well as this is your tuner. You got all your presets down there, of course. You got your heated seats for both of the front seats, which is really nice. You have your traction control, and then this guy is your hazard light, sorry. Down here, you do have your uh, climate control, so power up and down, push in to change the circulation, as well as you have your uh, heat over here, and you push in to do your AC and then where it's going to blow out of plus your defrost right there. In here you do have a USB plug-in and a 12 volt plug-in and then this is your uh, gear shifter. So just like that, just like that. How nice is that? You got a couple cup holders over here as well as your parking brake and then you do also have this guy which does slide back and forth and you can lift it up and there is some stuff right in there and there's also a dual layer so there's one on top, up top as well. Over here you do have your glove box, so you can open that guy up, and your owner's manual is right in there. Up top here you do have your controls over your sunroof. So, there we go. So you just gotta press that guy. And then your sunroof opens right up. How nice is that? It's really cold, so I'm gonna close it back up now. You got some lights here as well, and they are super bright, which is really nice. Let's take a look in the back here. We have control of our own windows, of course, and a little bit of storage there, a little bit more down there. And they actually have a lot of leg room back here as well. Tons, it's kind of indented there. And the seats are very soft and squishy, very nice. If they did want some cup holders, you can pull that down. And then they got an armrest and some extra cup holders there 
as well as right here, you can go into the back. And if you were curious about uh, lift, having the seats go down, you pull in this tab and you can just lift these right down and you got even more room for the back to push into here as well. Well, that does it for my walk around video, the 2013 Dodge Avenger SXT. If you guys wanna come down to Northland Dodge and take a closer look, or if you wanna take it for a test drive, come on down and talk to one of our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.